Among Pakistan's Islamists, the most significant political group is the Jamaat Islami. It was founded in 1941, before the creation of Pakistan. Do you want to go inside, please? 75 people initially came to join Jamaat, and now it is a very big organization. About 2 million people are enrolled as a member in Jamaat Islam. It has been there throughout Pakistan's political history, usually in collaboration with the military, very well organized, uh, with a youth wing, with a student's wing, with a women's wing, several publications, similar to the Muslim Brotherhood in the Middle East. It wants an Islamic state, its emphasis is on political action, and it considers politics as an integral part of religion. Beyond the Jamaati Islami, there are many different Islamic groups, including Shia activists, the conservative Diabandis, and the Saudi-funded Ali Hadith. But all joined together under one religious alliance, the MMA, as a reaction to Musharraf's support of the US-led war on terror. Well, they say MMA stands for Military Mullah Alliance. And certainly the MMA has bailed out the military regime at every uh, critical stage, but I fear uh, the way the evolution is happening, because while the security apparatus may control the MMA, who knows one day the MMA may control them. The Islamists dictate the political agenda. Uh, they have disproportionate influence in the media. They are much better organized. They have not had the repression of the kind that the other major political parties have faced, and so therefore they have these advantages which has amplified their voice in Pakistani society disproportionate to their presence in Pakistani society. So the conventional wisdom has long been that the jihadis would never come to power in Pakistan. Just look at the elections, it was typically said. They never got more than 5%. And that was true. But it's not true anymore. In uh, 2002, when General Musharraf restricted uh, Benazir Bhutto, and Nawaz Sharif and their ability to campaign, the Islamists increased their vote share and went up to 11.5% of the votes and 20% of the seats in parliament. But that was because of the gerrymander that was provided by the military. I got an information 48 hours before the election that a meeting had taken place in the presidency between General Musharraf, General Musharraf's uh, national security advisor, Tariq Aziz, and General Ehsan who was then the head of ISI. And they had decided to give the two provinces of Balochistan and Frontier to the MMA. The election in 2002 brought the religious parties bang into the center of Pakistan's political system. Musharraf made the leaders of the religious parties sit with him in the National Security Council. He made them the leaders of the opposition. And now Musharraf is finding that this alliance is costing him. It's costing him in terms of the Taliban, it's costing him in terms of Al-Qaeda, and of course uh, it is hurting the peace process with India.